I don't know. Here we go, though. Let's get into it. Fuzzy logic. All right, let's see. I'm going to try to play some... Okay, just because we mentioned the Stafford. I'll try it one time. I'm not going to be Staffording all, all day here. But just because we were... It was just discussed in the chat. I will... I will attempt one Stafford, and we'll see what we get. And we get it, so that's actually cool. First try, we get it. A lot of people will ignore it. Um, E5, though. <laughs> okay. So all my, my problem with the Stafford is I'm literally only booked up in one line here. So I assume Knight D5 is the move. Whoop Oh. Good luck, John. Oh, thanks, Professor Monty. I don't like when my opponent tells me what I can and can't do, okay? You're like, you know, you have to move your knight. Dude, that's some fuzzy logic, all right? I'm not moving my knight. And I'm crazy. This is round one. This is round one. I'm already feeling crazy. I'm anced up. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Doesn't know what to do. Oh, decides to take it. How crazy am I? I'm crazy, dude. I'm crazy. You don't know me. You don't know me. Boom! Boom! You knew I was gonna do this? <laughs> this has never happened. There's no way this is this has ever happened. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna do it. <laughs> now we have to justify it. So now we're down our traditional two pieces. Stafford's not really a gambit. It's only one pawn. Uh, but here we go. We got, we got, we sacked two pieces now. So now it's a real gambit, you know. Uh, I would like to give away, like, at least a pawn somewhere here or there. Uh, we'll see what we can do. But, yeah, this is kind of, what I'm playing for is a Nackmanson type where you just get a pin. I just want this pin on E2, and I want to bring out my bishops. Ah, I want to just rook here, bishop here, just E2 collapsing. Ah, chess B. Raiding with a party of 27. How's it going? You've come at a very exciting time. We have a Swiss tournament going on. Here is the link for anybody that wants to play. And uh, we're starting off hot. If you haven't joined us, we are sacking knights, sacking bishops. So, uh, yeah, you can expect... <laughs> you can expect this. Uh, and right now I'm actually trying to combine the, the Nackmanson and the Stafford Gambit into one giant mess so thanks for coming by thank you for the uh thank you for the raid <laughs> the knackford gambit yeah if it works <laughs> i mean we can flip the computer on at the end see what it thinks the evaluation is here uh but hopefully it asks hopefully there's some questions here hopefully you know we're, we're asking some tough stuff all right that move makes a lot of sense but I tell you now, I'm crazy. All right. Thanks, Just Bia. Have a good one. Um, yeah, okay. I I don't... No, no, not this one. This one. This guy? I don't mess around. I tell you what. I don't mess around. Let's go. Let's go. Now just queen attacks the knight. You attack this pawn. It's easy. This is easy. Chess is easy. Sack all your pieces and just get in there. <laughs> uh, now, <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, so I'm just going to take this thing, I assume. Seems, seems reasonable. All right. Haters will say this gambit is unsound. Haters like stockfish. Uh, we got a little pressure, right? You know, a little fuzzy pressure. Did we did we miss something here? <laughs> rookie two, rookie two. We'll come back. We'll come back in the analysis. See what we can do. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Seems reasonable. I should hopefully... Can I get... I mean... So here... Rook back, we just grab here. King up. Rook's hanging. This looks fine. 
Uh, I've played so brilliantly so far. I really don't want to mess this up. But this looks fine. Looks like we're forcing the rook back. We take here. It's all about pressure on e2. That's the point of the Nackmanson, except for c7. And uh, that's just my whole point here. And now... Oh, I see the point. You're going here. Ah, okay. Dang. He had a point. Uh, I've run out of things to, to take stuff with. And this isn't going to work because he has rook takes. Um, so this is the only thing I'm worried about. Ooh, doesn't go for it. He lets me take here. Rook takes. Whoa. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Boom! Boom! <laughs> it worked! It worked! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, some haters will say this is a bad opening. Let's just crank this engine on here for a second. Uh, I was trying to think of, so here, I, okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. I had no idea. <laughs> you and me are the only ones who know about Preston, but, uh... <laughs> Let's see the evaluation. Okay, I, I don't let people tell me what to do. You gotta live your life. Joe with the five. <laughs> Sub into Daniel Fox. Arc G3. Triangle anomaly. Fast D goes. And one king shield. Holy cow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joe. So I don't let people tell me what to do. I don't know about you guys. This is my what life, now? okay? I'm an adult. You can't tell me what to do. Attack my knight. Say I got to move it. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. <laughs> okay. My next move wasn't on here either. What now? Not Stockfish's first choice. Not Stockfish's first choice. But this is good. This is a really good opening. <laughs> Just castle. Uh, the first okay move I played. I finally played an okay what move. What now? Uh, right, yeah. Okay. So you put pressure. It's just about the pressure. Uh, rook takes is correct. So wait, actually, it was rook f1, h3 maybe is a better try. I was kind of thinking about it. Rook f1's fine. So I'll, he's playing fine. Uh, here though? Okay. <laughs> uh, here I was wondering about h3, but I guess g3 is an even safer way. If I do get this pawn, it does look a little bit dangerous for the opponent. So here there are... Yeah, there are some other things that can happen. So here, this was the, the Julian line. If, so if takes, you can't take with the rook because there is this checkmate. Uh, this, so the queen can take. The problem is, I guess, white has so much material here, again, not letting the, the queen sneak in, that even here, you know, whatever check I do, <laughs> white is still doing quite well uh, just due to the amount of material. But, yeah, if you let my queen in here, so I thought this was great, but he had this brilliant idea, and I thought the idea was to put the bishop on e5. So after queen g1 goes back, um, take on d4. Oh, this is a weird idea that I didn't see. You can't play queen takes, because then you walk into this discovery, and now I can win your queen? That's kind of interesting. Uh, even if I see it, I guess I don't know if it's the best practical try. But here, bishop e5 just kind of shuts down the file, and I think the game is over. But instead, we had a blunder, and we get a win with our brand new opening that we just invented right here. Uh, so thanks, Fuzzy Logic. And uh, yeah, expect a little bit more of that. That's only game one. That's only game one. We got six more games we got to win. So welcome to the stream, everybody.